is YouTube the new um, midlife crisis? I don't know. But if it is. So I'm out here in the garage. I'm cleaning up a little bit. And I started thinking about how YouTube has affected my life. How it's changed my life. Um, well, I figured I'd shoot a video about it. How I got started in YouTube was kind of really a sequence of unfortunate events. Um, I came down with cancer and it was uh, an easy cancer to fight. I just had to go through a lot of treatment. While I was going through the treatment, I was uh, watching YouTube videos, naturally. Well. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can shorten this up a lot. Um, watching the YouTube videos, somehow I got on to junk removal videos. Watching Sonoma Strong and uh, a couple other folks doing junk removal. So, I watched a bunch of those and I told my wife who was sitting there with me and I said, I think we should get into junk removal. I'm retired military. I got nothing better to do. Let's haul some junk. And so we did that for a little bit, and then we got into dumpster rentals because I watched some videos on YouTube of dumpster rental guys. Uh, American AF Dumpsters, Josh Roman, um, Life's Apprentice, Clayton Roll from Rolling Ops, uh, Daniel the Dumpster Helper. So I watched all of those, and I decided, hey, I could probably do the same thing. Make a crap ton of money, because they said I could. Well, um... And just like Josh Roman says, I decided to take this opportunity, or take that opportunity, to um, record it and document my process, and to document, you know, how it was going, what it was like, and was it successful. So I did that for a little bit, made a few videos uh, with my iPhone. They came out okay. Uh, and then we upgraded our cameras a little bit and we shot our own commercials. So that was the next step. Shot our own commercials for junk removal and dumpster rentals. And they were phenomenally uh, successful. So, all right. Uh, treatment, junk removal, dumpster rentals. And then my daughter had a good idea. She said, Dad. Why don't you start another channel that focuses on the stuff you're doing around the house? Fixing the house up, changing out lights, and doing flooring, and tearing down walls, and, and whatever. And I said, you know what, I, I think I like that. And it was a lot less stressful uh, making those videos than it was making the dumpster rental videos. Dumpster rental niche is very tight it's very hard to get subscribers um, and it's hard to put out new content because you know you're just well you're running a dumpster to somebody so that's what kind of got us here um, and I made some videos I don't know what I'm up to for a video I'll put that number right here so that's the the number of videos and I have 928 subscribers as of right now. And I'm ecstatic. It has changed my life dramatically. Number one, I never would have gotten into owning my own business. So I own a six figure a year business. I only work two, three hours a day at most. Um, that wouldn't have been possible without YouTube. YouTube also got me doing some tasks around the house and actually finishing them instead of only half finishing them. So kudos to that. Now where I went wrong with YouTube <clears throat> is I started to, so as a consumer, I started to consume basically whatever the algorithm put in front of me. And lately it's been a lot of doom and gloom videos, prepping videos, and and stuff like that. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, geez, you know, I, I really need to start prepping, and, and I thought I'd make a video or two about that, and, you know, it's really not my niche. 
my niche. It's really not my niche. So, uh, sorry about those uh, prepping videos. I don't know. Let, let's get back on track. Start working on the house. Working around the house. Um, I've gotten really good. Uh, some of my best videos are, you know, me replacing a boob light. Me plowing the driveway with a, a 1025 John Deere uh, tractor. Um, plowing the driveway up here in Maine. It, that's the stuff I enjoy doing. Um, and I have a lot, a lot to do. So after I get this garage done, I need to start really working on the outside before winter comes. Uh, I have a deck that I'm going to redeck. Uh, just the boards on top rotted out. All the stringers are good, so I'm going to pop those boards off. And I think that I'm going to use uh, engineered decking uh, and, and see how that goes. That might make a really good video. Or it's going to make a really good video on not, how not to do it. <laughs> we'll figure that out, I guess, when it comes. Uh, let's see. And then I have some, I have some videos to make on the way that we retrim our windows when we moved into the house. It just had uh, a very basic trim around it. No window sill. I like to have a window sill. I don't know why, but so I've started one by one redesigning our windows into uh, something, something a little, a little nicer. So I'll put a couple of pictures up here. But let me show you what I've got going on in the garage. Just shoot the video with my iPhone so you can kind of see what my YouTube setup is. All right, so there's my YouTube setup. Sony a7 III, I've got a Rode mic, and just a little monitor there. Got my light, sorry, that was pretty bright. So you guys saw me build these these cabinets and this bench. I have a lot more woodworking to do. Our dogs tore up one of their beds. Uh, let's see, we've got the laser over here in the corner. We've done a few videos on that. I'm gonna kinda, uh, unless we do something special with that, I'll probably keep those videos uh, light, you know, just occasionally. Here's our uh, kind of production area. When we do our lives, we have a switcher, you know, a few other things. Uh, tripods and some cables and stuff. But I got to try and get all of this cleaned up so that I can, oh yeah, our paint wall. French cleats have been a really good uh, video for me. All of my French cleat videos do really well. I really like the French cleats. I think that they uh, they hold up everything we throw at them. So let's put it that way. So as a retired military guy, over 50 years old, making content for YouTube, how has it affected my life? Well, I never would have started my own business. I wouldn't have had the idea to do... Um, uh, dumpster rentals and own a dumpster company. We wouldn't have done, uh, we do laser engraved uh, patches for hats and the, Jessica has a whole store set up for that. We wouldn't have done that. We wouldn't have a laser. We wouldn't have uh, a cricket. We would probably be sitting on the TV, uh, sitting on the couch watching TV. Honestly, that's what we've done um, pretty much most of our lives just kind of rolling with it and now we get to to grasp uh, life and and do what we want so uh, YouTube has become it started as another hobby the videography of it uh, was a, a great hobby to learn still learning not very good at it but you know, we're trying. Uh, but YouTube, it it amazes me that between my two channels, I have, you know, 1,500 subscribers and 1,500 people 
uh, watch my videos to see what I have to say. I don't know how long they watch. Probably most of you are gone already. Most of the how has YouTube changed my life videos are all about money and monetization and, and you know, I haven't even really thought about that. It doesn't really cross my mind. It's such a good hobby and, you know, showing people how to get rid of a boob light in their house. I mean, you know, that's, that's payment enough. I, I really enjoy making those how to videos and trying to get better at videography. So they say the more videos you make, the better you're going to get. Um, let's, let's hope that's the case because I have a lot tied up in uh, cameras and, and drones and all of that. Oh yeah, so that's another thing that, that's another way that YouTube changed my life. My wife let me buy a toy, I mean a drone, and you know, haven't really used it much yet, but, but that's coming. So. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. I promise I'll get away from the prepping types of videos. That's, uh, I think we have hard times coming, but I, I don't necessarily think that, you know, piling a bunch of few food in the basement is, uh, is a necessity quite yet. Is it, you know, could it be in the future? Yeah, maybe, but let's deal with it when it gets here. If you have any suggestions, if you want to see more about my YouTube setup and and how we do that, my, my studio, my camera setup and all that, uh, just leave a comment down below. Other than that, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, hit that thumbs up. That really, really helps the channel a lot. People say that all the time, but it really does. If somebody watches half a video and and they don't interact, by hitting the thumbs up, the algorithm takes that a certain way. If somebody watches half the video but they give me the thumbs up, it's certainly a different way also. So all of that helps the channel and you know helps me continue changing my life in this early retirement that I have going on. So over 50 years old, is YouTube the new um, midlife crisis? I don't know, but if it is, this red sports car is, uh, it's fun. I like it. So thanks for watching this quick little video. I got to get back to cleaning up the shop so I can start making some more stuff again. I have coming up, I have to make a, um, one of those child, uh, step stools that puts them up at the counter so they can help mom make a cake. I, I have to make one of those for my granddaughter. Um, I need to make, oh, I got some, I got some uh, hardwood cherry inch, just over an inch thick cherry that I'm going to be redoing parts of our kitchen with nice, oh, beautiful cherry. This is the most beautiful wood ever. So tune in for that. And we have more windows to do. So thanks for watching and uh, have a good night.